Hey guys, it's Holly, and welcome back to Stonehearth. So since our last episode, look, we have a little baby sheepy in here now. And I also did go ahead and I made a little bit of a barn here as well. I know it's nothing spectacular, but I thought that looks kind of cute in their enclosure. And then over here we have some poyos or some little chickens. And look, we got a little baby chicken in here as well. <laughs> which I thought was super cute so and I also went ahead and built this little house here so this is our cook slash shepherd's house um, so as you can see in here I have all the little cooks items in here try and make it look like a little bit of a kitchen and they got their own little dining area and you got a writing desk and things like that so they can sit down and do all that sort of stuff. Now, the next thing I was kind of thinking is I obviously want to get some rabbits here as well. So we might maybe place down a pen for some rabbits. But obviously, first off, I'm going to need to move these trapping grounds because they're too close. So we'll remove that because I don't want that right there. And that one there is probably going to be okay. So I'm going to go like this going to go the same size as the chicken coop like so I think and we're going to say it's going to be a rabbit pen yes and we can have seven little bunnies in there and on this land too you can't actually build on this land like you wouldn't be able to then build this little barn so the way that I built the barn is I cleared out the sheep pasture and then I built the barn then did the sheep pasture around it if that makes sense so you can't actually build on grazing land but you can build before you put the grazing land down and then put the grazing land down and the same as here like I couldn't do a huge big square so I've done two little ones so this one can hold five chickens and this one can hold two chickens so they'll always stay in their own little yards but we'll probably pop up a little bit of a wooden fence around this one as well I'm not too sure if we have any we do we have some wooden posts there so I'm gonna place some of them down so while we're waiting for our carpenter to carry on and make some more of this fence for us, I've also crafted up a few wooden bows. So I think I can now promote some of our guys to archers, but I'm not sure if they need to be an a knight and then an archer or if they can just go straight from footman. So we'll have a look here. We'll go change jobs. You can now become an archer. So what does it say? It needs to be a level 3 footman and a archer's bow. So you know what? I'm going to turn all of our footmen now into archers. And check them out. There they are. So there's three of them. So there's still another two to promote. But they are our new little archers now. They look kind of cute. Check them out cruising around with their little bows. Oh, here comes another one. And you can actually hear the battle music in the background but I'm kind of um I'm kind of cheating at the moment <laughs> so I'm not exactly cheating but I'm not exactly uh making it easy for the enemy to get me I dug a little bit of a trench around our front yard here almost like a moat and then I removed the ladder <laughs> so they can't actually get in and attack me at the moment um, if I do place down a ladder and head out then we will be in a little bit of strife but while we stay within the fort wall so far so good they can't actually get in and attack us now next up what I was thinking that we could do is I would like to start making some houses for these guys down here so out here we have our herbalist our weaver our engineer and our potterer I also think the blacksmith is out here as well so we do need to start making these guys their own little homes because these guys are sort of still just left out here so what I'm thinking over this direction I might maybe start building the potterer's house but I'm kind of thinking hang on let me see if I've got one have I got one can I show you what I'm talking about see these little teapots here they're kind of cute I'm thinking, what if we try to make the potterer's house look like a little teapot? I think that would look kind of cute. I know it's not going to look the same as all the other houses, but it's the potterer's house. I mean, his house needs to be a little bit different than everyone else's. So that's what I'm going to try and do. We're going to see how much limitation this game has and see if we can craft up like a little, a little potterer's house that looks like a kettle. I think it's going to look super cute. 
All right, so that was our reference point, and this is what I have come up with. <laughs> so I don't actually think that looks too bad. I think that totally looks believable as a little potterer's house. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different. He's a potterer. So if I slice it down, I'll show you what's inside. Slice it all down. So what I have done, I've got upstairs. So upstairs, he has his own little bedroom table and chairs and some little urns to keep his stuff in and then down the bottom we have the potterer's urn and the potterer's wheel and then on the side here I just cut out a little hole as a doorway but I think all in all I think that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that it'll be interesting to see how well they build it and I also placed some of these up here because I'm kind of thinking maybe when it comes night time they might actually have fire coming out of them. I think they'll look kind of cool if there's flames coming out of the kettle. So I think all that's left to do is I might actually place this one of these guys. We'll just sneak it in through the window here and we might just maybe place it there like so so he has one downstairs as well he's got a couple upstairs but he didn't have any downstairs so i think that will look all right let's do this yes start building and there it is so they're fairly well finished building it now i think there's just a few little lamps that need to be put in and things like that but check that out i think that looks pretty cool that it looks almost like there's steam coming out of the spout there i think that looks pretty cool and i know it does stand out a little bit as a sore thumb you know obviously all the other houses are pretty plain and boring just old houses and then all of a sudden you have a teapot <laughs> but i think that looks pretty cool so the next one i want to do is i'm thinking about maybe starting to do the blacksmith's house or maybe should we start the carpenters i don't know so who's down here what's that all right so that's the forge and the blacksmith anvil and the mason's pedestal just trying to work out who's going to need the bigger house and then we got the weavers stuff there um i mean we could always try and make the blacksmith's house and try to make it look a little bit like an anvil i guess but when i when i think of it like a, a blacksmith i always think of like a barn like where they have horses and things like that. I don't know why. I guess I just seen too many country and westerns when I was younger. <laughs> but um, I might actually start on the carpenter's house. We might maybe put the carpenter's house next to the little teapot here. So we will unequip that one. And I'm just going to get started on that. And seeing how it's the carpenter's house, I'm probably going to do this one all brown, I think. We'll do it all, all brown. <laughs> uh, so that's sort of what I've come up with so far. I thought I'd try and make it look a little bit like it's got the saw, you know, the saw, this guy here. I don't know if it looks like what I wanted it to, though. Just sort of playing with it at the moment. Doesn't look too bad. I think it looked better with that bit of a point at the end, though. Because then it looks like it could be like a sword or a saw. So I think that might be alright for the front of the house. And then what we're going to do, we're going to chuck some doors on. So we do want one of these out the front here or maybe on the side like we did with the other one. We might maybe place it on the side like we did with our potterer's house. And what else do we need? Okay, so we need to put some furniture in here. Alright, so the carpenter only has the carpenter's tool bench, which is yay big. And he also has the carpenter's workbench. Alright, so he doesn't have, his items aren't going to take up a lot of room. It's so one thing I did notice with the potterer when I was trying to squeeze him into that teapot house. His items took up a lot of room. So we might maybe place this here. And how big is this one? This one isn't that big either. So that could probably go on the other wall. Beautiful. And then we've got plenty of room to put a little bed and things like that in here for him. Now we'll go up so we get him a comfy bed. I'll just flick that one around, maybe like so. Yeah, about there. And then what else have we got? We've also got, got a wooden dresser. And we also have a writing desk. So I might maybe put his dresser on one side. And then on the other side, I might pop down one of these writing desks. We'll put down just a simple little wooden chair there. And then if he's got a... I don't know, do any work or anything like that. He can sit at the 
sit at the table and and do his work. He could do all his sketches and things like that for what he is building. I guess it depends on what he's doing. What else do we need in there? He needs some storage. So we might do a little blue chest. One of these leather bound chests. I think these are pretty cute actually. It's not going to sit in the middle though. Urgh. That's going to bug me. I might maybe place two of them side by side like that there. That looks alright. And then what else do we need? Chuck a little rug in there if we wanted. Yeah, we'll chuck a little rug in there. Make it all nice and cozy. It's going to need some lighting. Might chuck some stone wall lanterns in this one. I've been using the oil clay lamps in the other ones, but we'll chuck some stone wall lanterns in this one. And I actually really like that tapestry picture. I thought that looked pretty cool. So can I fit that in between? I can, like so. Beautiful. All right, might maybe pop some windows on the back of the house. I guess because it's the carpenter's house, we might just stick with a whole wooden theme. So, go a little window there and a little window there. I think that'll look alright. And we might maybe use some of these big ones across the back here. Like so. Alrighty. I think that looks pretty adorable. Do you think we should put some curtains in for him? Do you think he needs some privacy? I don't know. I don't know if I like the curtains on those windows. Because with those two in the middle there, it's going to look a bit funny. Nope, I might leave the curtains off. So I think I think that looks like a pretty cute little house. Now I don't actually know how I'm going to go putting a roof on this because I don't know if that saw on the front there is going to hinder it a little bit. Oh and we didn't put his sign on. Where is his sign? Potter's sign, Mason's sign. There we are, that one. Better put his sign down so he knows this is his house. There you are, little carpenter's sign. Kill, kill. And it's got the little <laughs> it's got the little saw on it as well. Well you know what? I'm gonna put two of them in because I think they look pretty cute. I don't know how I'm gonna go putting a roof on. Is the roof gonna sit on with that there? It actually doesn't look too bad. I was expecting it to not to want to sit on there properly because I've got that in the way. Alright, so we'll, we'll give that a go. See how that looks. How does that look? I don't think that looks too bad at all. Awesome, but it does look like it's missing something here at the front. Oh, this doesn't quite... Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe I could place one like that. There we are. It just looked very, very bare on the front, so I don't think that actually looks too bad. I think that looks all right. I'm going to set that one to build now also. So finished editing. And what are we missing? We're missing a few windows, a couple of carpenter signs, not a lot. There's just a few things that we're missing, but that'll be all right. So we're going to say, yes, build. Yes, start building. Get that one happening for me, please. And then, so they don't go ahead and craft some things that we already have, I'm going to unequip these. And then that way they won't remake them because otherwise they'll remake them to put them in the house. So we don't actually need them to remake them at all. And we go daily update. We do not have enough food. We do have plenty of net worth. So we're definitely going to have to get on to making a little bit more farming area. But I would like to know what my shepherd is doing. I've actually got two shepherds now. But it doesn't. we don't have any bunnies in here yet. Where are all my bonus? Hmm? No bunnies. And I can see one jumping around out here. Look, look. And he is friends to Alora. Well, Alora, come get your bunny and put him in the bunny pen. Oh, we got a raccoon. We got a raccoon in the bunny pen. <laughs> I don't know where all the bunnies are hiding. All right, so we better increase our farmland a little bit because we're getting very hungry. So I guess I'm just going to keep coming out further with it. All right, so we've added in just a few more crops. It looks like all the farmers are working together over there in that one plot. And this guy down here is actually the cook. So I think my farmers have been a little bit slack, to be totally honest with you, because the cook's out here making sure that everything's done proper. And how are we going over here? Ah, it's coming along nicely, actually. They got that done a lot quicker than what I thought they would have. I guess because the teapot was a little bit of an unusual structure, it did take them a little while to get that all done. Oh, and another thing that I did up here, too, I started sort of 
modeling the castle I guess so it's kind of tricky to see and it was really tricky to place down the items I probably should have built level for level and put everything that I wanted in that level before I added the next so it was a little bit tricky to try and squeeze those beds in there. So this floor here, we have a whole heap of beds and we also have some little wooden dresses in there as well. And then on the top floor, I have a little bit of a dining room. So I thought that looked kind of cute. We got some chests up here that have just the food and drink in them. Then we have like a massive dining table here where they can all sit down and eat together. I also crafted up these little gongs. I have no idea what they do. I don't know if they have any function if you can gong them or no it just says scouts gong inspired by the kobold scout so i don't actually know i just thought they looked kind of cute so we have them up here and we also have the wicked fireplace so it glows green in here of a night time i thought that was pretty cool and we have a simple merchant but you know what buddy we don't really need any of your stuff right now so you can go away daily update we're still low on food now i'm starting to think if maybe i should build a fence so then we can start heading back out and collecting all the stuff out here you can see some bunnies jumping around out here i just don't want to let my guys out and then get beaten up no all right we'll we'll give it a chance because there are these guys over here too look at them they're having babies they're multiplying all right, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to try our archers. Our archers haven't even been out fighting yet. All right, so I'll build a ladder here on the other side of our trench. And we will send out our little army. Well, here comes a builder now. He's coming to, coming to come build the ladder. All right, well, we want all of our archers and everyone to come attack the big one. Come take, was that one of the big ones? Was that, no, that was a little one. Oh, geez. Take out one of the big ones first. <laughs> oh, here they come. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why they have a worker with them. Oh, no, she looks like she's running off in the other direction. All right, I don't know how this is going to go because our archers are all only level one. They've only just started learning. Awesome! Good job, guys! Now, none of our archers actually went up in levels, though, which is a little bit disappointing. And where's our cleric going? Ah, oh, he's coming over here to get the gold. Good job! Now, one of the main reasons why I wanted to let them out for a little while was actually because I seen a lot of bunnies and chickens and things like that cruising around out here. So I would actually like our shepherds to be able to get out and collect some of those animals for us. While we were out here, we may as well have some of this stuff as well. Ah, check it out! So we finally collected us some bonnets. Look, we got three little bunnies in here too now. How cute are they? You are so cute! <laughs> I can't get, I can't get close enough. Let me look at you. That's awesome. That is awesome. I really wish that I could actually like plant grass or something like that in here, or even just paint the ground green. That's probably something that's bugging me a little bit just because it's meant to be a grazing pasture and it's just sand. I wish it was green. Maybe next time we'll have to play in a different environment, I guess, because we are in the desert. I know, I know. Our army's on its way to come get this ogre down here, but I was just laughing at these guys up here. Look, they're attacking each other. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Get them. <laughs> I don't mind if they beat each other up. It means less of them are going to come down here and beat me up. A grizzled traveller appears on the horizon. Ho there, township. How are things for you? It's been pretty quiet, but you know, it's a bad sign when the birds stop singing. My guess is wolves. Goblin wolves. Watch your borders. You don't want to fight them after their trainers got them all lathered, you hear? Bunker down if you need to, or run. Running's good. No shame in surviving another day. Well, that's handy to know. Thank you. So he's basically warning us that if we get a whole heap of goblin wolves, it's probably best to stay away from them. So I'm going to just let these guys collect the last bit of the stuff that they are getting. I really wanted my shepherd to go over here and get Bluebell. I mean, he might have already. She doesn't look like she's here anymore. And how's our little house going here? Alright, so it looks like they've finished 
the carpenter's house now as well. So I think they look kind of cute next to each other. I know, like I said, they look kind of weird. They stand out in comparison to our other little houses and our and our castle and things like that. But I, I like them. <laughs> uh, oh, look how many bunnies we've got down here now. There are heaps of bunnies. Awesome. We got a whole heap of chickens as well. We also got a fair few sheep. I think we got five little sheepies over there at the moment. I was actually thinking we almost have enough stuff to build the tapestry monument as well there. We just need one more sunflower seed. Hello? Trader brings seeds from a distant land. Where? Hello, Newfoundlander gang. Just passing through, I'd be willing to make a trade or two if you're interested. If you make me three watermelon basket, I'll be back in four days and might be able to get you some frost snap seeds in exchange. Sound good? No, sorry. We already have frost snap seeds and our town's items is full. Darn it. Alright, so basically what that means is the next person that we have come through, we will need to... Who was low health? I can't see anyone. Maybe they're in bed. Are they in bed? Someone in bed. Yes, there's someone in bed. They're resting. Okay, that's all right. He'll be better soon. Um, so basically that means that the next person that comes through, the next trader that comes through, means we're going to have to sell a whole heap of items to them. Because basically in here, if we go to our inventory, it'll tell us how many items we allowed and then how many items we actually have. So it will show you the items that you have placed, but it also will show you the items that you have in use. So all the stone that we have for our castle and everything like that, it all adds up. But yes, I suppose we will eat up a fair few things too. As everyone gets hungry, they will start eating and that will get rid of some of our town items as well. But I think what I'm going to have to do, I think I'm going to leave this episode here today, guys. Oh, who's that down there? Look, we got a squirrel cruising around down here too now. <laughs> oh, that is super cute. All right. Thank you so much for joining me again today, guys. And I'll talk to you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.